Okay, so what we're going to do right now is this is a Dell Latitude E5440. We're going to adjust the screen resolution for when the projector is plugged in. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the projector, the VGA cable. And as soon as it does that, it kind of makes the screen like a letterbox. So to fix that, I'm going just to right click on the desktop anywhere. I'm going to click on graphics options, scroll over to output, to clone displays, and I want to use the built-in display first, and then the digital display. The built-in display is the laptop screen, and then the digital display is the projector. So, I'm going to click on that. Okay. Yeah. Now it's still it's still going to be letterbox. So then the next step is to go to again the graphics options. Panel fit. And on the built-in display, I want that to be full screen. I want this display to be full screen instead of having that letterboxing. So I'm going to click full screen. Now it's it's filling up the entire screen here. And then I'm going to do it right click one more time and go to graphics options and under panel fit for the digital display, which is the projector, I want to maintain the display scaling. So it'll we basically want it to look the same. Right. So now this since the screen is a uh, is wider and not as tall. And then, then this one is kind of more like a, a square. Mm -hmm. I think this is four by three and the other one's 16 by nine. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do now on the projector well, is hit the button that says aspect. I don't know if I can see that. Here. Aspect. And we want to make that go to either 16 by nine or full. Okay. So once that's done, it's going to kind of fill up the whole screen and then we're going to just double check the calibration because anytime you make the screen bigger over here it's going to throw off the um, the, the pins so I don't see your pin tool open on the bottom here what is that? that's an Promethean one so we just want to make sure that the white cable is plugged in to the wall which it is Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that you have the pen tool open. Space. If it's not open, then I'm just going to go to the start menu and go to Epson. It's active. I didn't get the Epson when we got the new computer. Oh, you know what? You don't have it installed. So I'm going to pause the video while we install that real quick. Okay. Okay, so here's the CD that we want to in order to use the pen tool. And this is the Epson projector software. But really, I just refer to it as the orange and silver CD. Because it's the only orange and silver CD that comes in the box. So I'm going to install that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, to install the software, we want to make sure that we go to the, the D drive for the, the CD-ROM. And then I'm going to double-click on this EID driver setup. It's actually the only one that says setup. And just let that run. And the important thing is, we're going to select English. We want to make sure that we tell it to, to run when the computer turns on. That way you don't have to start it every time. So while that's... Just going to wait for it to install. Next. Accept. Next. No. We want to register it to start up, so that means every time the computer starts, this will start. And we want it to start as soon as we finish installing. And it's a very quick install.
and finish. Okay, I'm going to restart it later. As soon as it's installed, you can see the pin's trying to recognize with that can little interactive driver thing. Yeah. I'm going to say now. restart later because okay. there's there's some other things open down there. And it should work without it. Now look, down at the bottom, you see an icon with a little pin. It says easy interactive driver. When this white cable is unplugged, you'll see that icon has a red X. And if you don't see that little icon with the little pin that says the interactive driver, then either it's not running or you don't have it installed. So I'm going to plug in the cable. As soon as I do that, this should pop up. If this doesn't pop up, that means it doesn't have the software or the USB is not plugged in. Okay, so now it's on and now I can take the pin and go over here and see how far it's off. Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't even need to change that. So it's very close. It's very close. Yeah. It could use a little calibration. Oh, it's actually very close. Yeah, I don't even remember. Okay, so but we, we could calibrate. And if you wanted to calibrate, you would just click right there and hit calibrate. I'm not going to do it right now because you know how to calibrate. Yes. But we're done. Yay. Thank you.